Hello, San Joaquin Delta College. I am Adriana Broger, and I'm so excited because today I'm sitting down via Zoom with two of our professional counseling interns that are here at San Joaquin Delta College, and they are going to introduce themselves a little bit to you, and we are going to go through an FAQ covering questions uh, basically like, what do you need to know? What does a session look like? And how do you get started? So let's go ahead and welcome to the room, both Olivia and Tanya. Olivia, let's go ahead and start with you. Please introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Olivia. I am uh, currently a student at um, Stanislaus State. I am working on my master's and I am very excited to be able to work for um, the Delta students and be here in the counseling office um, doing my internship. Thank you, Olivia. All right, Tanya, let's go over to you and please tell us a little bit about yourself. Hi, everyone. My name is Tanya Smith. I am a first generation college student. I too attend uh, CSU Stanislaus, earning my master's hopefully in December and as a licensed professional clinical counselor. And so I'm doing my internship at Delta and I currently work with college students myself um, at another community college. So I really um, have a passion for helping college students. And I'm hoping I got into this field because I saw their struggle. And um, I just wanna take that negative, negative stigma away from um, counseling and know that it is okay to talk about and to address concerns and how you feel and the struggles that people are going through. Because if you don't talk about them, they don't go away. They just kind of build up. So that's my passion and I'm here to help anybody that needs it. Thank you both so much for being here and for being available to our community at San Joaquin Delta College. So you had started already with addressing some of what those potential uh, barriers to seeking help could be. And one thing that I wanted to address is that sometimes even when we think, oh, counseling is not for me, I'm glad the service is available, but let's let somebody else tap into it. I just wanted to point out that as we start a new school year and having come off the heels of uh, COVID and the, the chaos, which was 2020, um, that when we really step and, and look, step back and look at this, I think any one of us could benefit from talking to somebody else about um, not only our experiences, but perhaps even planning, um, putting a plan in place for the future. Or what are some, some reasons that somebody might seek some personal counseling? Well, some of the reasons is just even um, maybe feeling overwhelmed, feeling like there's a lot going on for them, um, you know, maybe not knowing or not being too sure about what they what they uh, want in their future. Um, also, maybe sometimes a little bit of anxiety or maybe feeling sad, maybe just needing someone to talk to or um, someone who's going to be there to to listen, um, you know, and it's important to let students know that they're not alone and that we are here to support them. Yeah, also, I, d I do know that um, several of our students um, have lost people to COVID. Um, so grief is a big deal, coming back and learning a new, new like Olivia said, a new normal. What's that going to look like? Having um, some uncertainties and ambiguities, just not knowing in itself can be troublesome for people. So if you have somebody to talk to and just kind of you know, um, get some direction and some reassurance in itself can really be beneficial. Thank you for pointing that out. I think that oftentimes when we're experiencing different things, we often feel like we're the only ones going through something. And uh, sometimes that leads to feelings of isolation and a real struggle in that. So I really appreciate you addressing that uh, this exists so that Folks can have another person to talk to, to talk out their feelings and to, to understand that it's okay to have the variety of emotions that we as human beings have. Most I definitely. really appreciate that. Let's go ahead and get into the FAQs now. So these are frequently asked questions that someone who hears about this service at Delta College might have. And maybe someone's listening and they say, this sounds great, but I don't have insurance. Do I need to have insurance to tap into the service? All of our services are free of cost. Um, they are covered through um, your, the Delta College. And so there is no um, cost to the students. That is great to know. So immediately this means then that anyone who's enrolled as a current San Joaquin Delta College student is eligible. Is that correct? Yes. 
Wonderful. Okay. Next, now that we've established that it's open to any Delta student, um, maybe we don't tap into things because we get a little anxious about what something looks like. So can you walk us through what a session looks like? Is this uh, over Zoom? Is this something that, you know, kind of how long does a person um, take for this? Uh, and, and just what does that experience look like so that we can help people understand that process? Well, for the first initial um, consult, it's we can do Zoom or we can do over the phone. Um, and because of COVID, we're, we're not seeing students in person, unfortunately. That's the most preferred. But um, we, we can do Zoom or the phone, whatever the student prefers. Um, it's about an hour the first time because we do uh, um, an assessment. We just kind of ask questions and see what the student is needing and um, go from there. Um, we can schedule them in 30 minutes to an hour. Just It all depends on the needs of the student. Pretty, We're pretty flexible and um, the hours are flexible. There are currently three of us. Um, Ariana couldn't make it today. So there, there's plenty of people that's there to help you. Thank you for addressing that because one thing that I just heard you mention is how flexible your hours are. And just this week, I was talking about these services to one of my students and the student was concerned because the hours looked like it was nine to five. And, and because we had been on an active minds call together previously, I said, actually, no, I know that uh, one of the, one of the, um, the, intern therapist is actually available um, to be flexible and mentioned that she can meet with people on a Saturday, even if it's already planned. So can you speak to some of that? I, we have some flexibility. I know they, they prefer to keep it nine to five, but you know, when somebody's um, having crisis or is having an issue, that's when they need somebody, they don't need it nine to five. So I, I do open myself up to that flexibility because uh, I just know I'm a mom as well. So we all know that not everything happens between nine to five. So I want to make, um, yeah, I think Olivia does too, um, you know, make that flexibility for those students that really need it. Yes, definitely. And even evenings might well, might work better for some students as well, especially if they have um, a job or uh, they might have a little bit more uh, flexibility of, you know, a Saturday or, or a weekend. So we're also open to that as well. Um, you know, just that initial um, uh, meeting will help us to determine, this is where we can determine, okay, what's our next step and when can we meet again? Thank you for clarifying that. I really appreciate that because we know that during COVID, a lot of folks' uh, regular schedules have shifted and maybe they're working more where they weren't before and they need those evening hours. So I'm so glad that we've established that. Okay, so thanks for describing what that um, session looks like. And basically it sounds like uh, it is a personalized experience after you have that first session to determine what are the best uh, needs and, and times and all of that to move forward. All right, how does somebody get started? We know that we're supposed to contact the counseling office. So on the screen right now, we are putting up some information and this is a graphic that tells you who to contact, what phone number to call, what is the email. And as you can see, you have a variety of options to get in touch with someone so that you can get started with this free uh, personal counseling for Delta College students. So Tanya and Olivia, thank you both so much for taking time out today to let us meet you a little bit more and get to know who you are, because that's really important um, as people are looking for uh, looking into this, the service that they know who are the people who are providing it. And in addition, going through this FAQ with us. Now, before we go, I do want to uh, just put out there the idea that um, I know as an Active Minds co-advisor here on campus, that we often go back to that statistic that people who are um, between the ages of 18 and 24 and new in this college experience often struggle with trying to find their footing initially. Um, and that sometimes those issues, we don't really talk about them. We just think, well, you go from high school to college and you're just supposed to go with the flow but sometimes there's some hiccups along the way and personal counseling can really help out. So Olivia, what, what can you say to that uh, new student or maybe a student who's coming back to us? Um, let's just address that stigma one more time and let them know why seeking personal counseling is okay. Yes, definitely. Um, 
you know, even though you might think like everything's okay, or sometimes you may have some difficulties, it could be something with um, school, or it could even be something with um, your family, something going on at home as well. Um, you know, it's always important that you are able to talk to someone about it, maybe someone who can help you or guide you. Um, and, you know, just someone who can listen. So, um, you, like I said before, you are not alone. Um, you know, a lot of us have gone through so many difficulties this last year. Um, and, you know, we're coming back. And so th there's a lot of changes going on for a lot of us. And so, um, you know, it's important that, you know, you feel supported, because your education is something very important uh, for your future. And so we want you to feel supported in that um, path that you're taking. Thank you, Olivia, for addressing that. And I know one other question that might be on the minds of people watching is, what is, is the service confidential? Or who's going to find out that I am tapping into these services? Tanya, can you answer that? Yes, I can. So it may be on record that you saw, you know, somebody in the counseling office, um, but it will, nothing we speak about will be disclosed to anyone. It's all confidential. Our conversations are confidential um, and nothing unless it's a self, self-harm, um, something like that, then we are mandated. But if anything, nobody's going to be, you know, parents, friends, nothing. You don't have to worry about anything being disclosed. If whatever is, spoke, you know, talked about in those appointments is highly confidential. That's wonderful. Thank you for addressing that. Thank you so much for watching this video. To learn more about these counseling services provided here at San Joaquin Delta College, and here is more information or the information we gave you earlier if you need to take a screenshot of that now. We wish you wellness. Welcome you to an Active Minds meeting. Uh, go ahead and look up more information. Uh, we are at deltacollege.edu. Search for clubs and look for Active Minds.